What's up, what's up, what's up, family? It is none other than your boy, Jay Giddens, the father, as usual. Remember to be positive, be optimistic, and keep positive people in your circle. So, I am a Baltimore native, all right? To all of my Be More natives out there, I wanted to share this with y'all. I saw this update today. As you can see, it is, what's today? Uh, November 23rd. Today is, I think, the day they call Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate holidays, but let's keep going. I wanted to share this with all my fellow Baltimore natives, Okay. Um, Baltimore City Transportation officials are preparing to activate new red light enforcement cameras, right? These are the, these are the cameras that you see uh, taking pictures of people when they go through a red light and it sends you a ticket in the mail, okay? In a statement released Wednesday, the Department of Transportation said it's activating cameras at eight locations in multiple directions that will start taking photos on about on or about December 11th. Now, I'm going to go over these locations for all my Baltimore natives. Y'all probably already know where they are, but let's go through them, all right? So, it says the red light enforcement cameras are operable 24 hours a day, every day, and a violation costs $75. Meanwhile, we can't pay for nothing, but let's, 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 <laughs> let's skip that. <laughs> anyway, all right, so here are the locations, okay? Harford Road and Erdman Avenue, okay? Most people know where Harford and Erdman is. For those who don't know, that's um, over east. It's like by, by east side. That's by the park right there. Um, there's a park that's over by, I think it's 32nd Street, okay? If you're familiar with Baltimore, you're familiar. They're putting one right there, okay? Secondly, North Avenue and Pennsylvania Avenue. First of all, I don't know what the hell. I don't know why they ne didn't have a red light camera there already. It's already 40 police officers there every day and 5 million people. But yeah, I do get why they're putting that there. There is a lot of traffic there, um, both from pedestrians as well as traffic from cars. All right, third one, Orleans and Gay Street at Enza. For those who um, don't know, that is by like Mulberry, by Franklin, where that um, where that bridge is by Mercy Hospital, right? So when you're downtown and you, you're going across that bridge right there, right when you go over that bridge, that's Enza and Gay right there. It's like um, a lot of people, I get why they putting that there. A lot of people run that light or they make that left turn and it causes accidents. So I, I guess I get why they're doing that. I mean, all of this is about money, but <laughs> either way, let's move on to the next one. Frankfurt Avenue at Bel Air Road. So for those who may not be familiar, Frankfurt Avenue is uh, like like it's 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 east, but it's like upper east, headed towards Bel Air. So like when you go all the way out Bel Air Road, um, away from the city, you'll run into Frankfurt Avenue after like uh, Northern Parkway. And actually, I think Northern Parkway might be behind it, but you'll you'll run into it when you you on the way out in the county, out Bel Air Road. Okay, for those who are Baltimore natives that take Bel Air Road, pay attention to where Frankfurt Avenue is. December eleventh, they put one there. All right. Um, and by the way, um, some landmarks right there, there's an Aldi's um, on Frankfurt and Bel Air Road, there's an Aldi's right there, there's like a, um, a big market, there's a subway, there's a couple different things, there's like a Boost Mobile um, there at that intersection. Alright, next one, Emerson Avenue, oh, my apologies, Liberty Heights Avenue at Rice's Town Road, that's basically Mondamin, alright, anybody from Baltimore, you already know that's Mondamin, they're gonna put, <laughs> they, they put in the camera light right there um, on Rice's Town Road, um, and Liberty Heights where they cross, all right, where, where the bus metro station is. Any, everybody from Baltimore pretty much know that inter, intersection, all right? Emerson Avenue at Hilton Street, that's where social services is, all right? So for all my Baltimore natives, y'all know when you're going down Emerson Avenue and you cross that bridge where there's like a uh, speed ticket there, there's like a, it's like a speed trap there. Everybody knows about that bridge. No matter who, who you are, if you're driving in Baltimore, everybody slow down when they get to that bridge on Emerson Avenue, right? They about to put a, a red light camera there, all right? I'm pretty sure everybody going to Know about that one because that's a pretty you know what I mean all right um then next we got Pratt Street at the Pier 5 garage that's downtown so that's downtown on Pratt Street right there where Miss Shirley's is um IHOP used to be Best Buy a bunch of stuff I don't know if Best Buy still there but a bunch of stuff downtown by like where the aquarium is that's where Pier 5 garage is they're gonna put one right there um, if you drive downtown and you're a Baltimore native or even walk a lot, you probably know where that is right there, where the water is and down the street from where um, Power Plant is, all right? Um, lastly, we got Emerson Avenue at Uplands Parkway, Winans Way. I I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is probably the only one off the top of my head I don't recognize, Uplands Parkway. I think that's, um, I feel like that's maybe Caton like going towards Catonsville side of em Emerson Avenue. Um, so it might be like, far up Emerson Avenue, but just Google Emerson Avenue and Uplands Parkway, and I'm pretty sure to come up Winans Way, because, yeah, you know, Winans is, is going towards, like, Pikesville, like, up that area, so I think, I don't know, but look, y'all, remember to be positive about the Mr. Key Positive people in your circle, don't be out there speeding and running red, like, camera tickets, and it's crazy that we make $75 off each one of these, but yet the city still poor and can't afford things, remember to be positive about the Mr. Key Positive people in your circle, Jay Giddens out, baby.